This is a 7800 paddle controller. Have you ever seen anything this cool before in your life? I didn't think so. Later on in the show, I'm going to tell you how you could enter to win your very own pair of 7800 paddle controllers. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lynx Lounge. I'm your host, BTB. I've got a game that I want to share with you called Viking Child. If you look at the box, if you look at the um, cover, you're like, oh, baby, what is this? Is this like a Legend of Zelda thing? What's going on with that? Well, we're going to find out right now in this exciting game called Viking Child. Let's check it out. That looks like something from Lord of the Rings. Look at that, the Viking child. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited about that. Got some music jamming. And uh, let's, you know, let's get into this. Oh, I got worlds that I could pick. Look at that, map and everything. Here we go, what? Okay, what? What's going on with this here? Uh, you know, I might have jumped the gun when I said an exciting game. Whoa, what? All right. This is slow. All right, so what do we got here? This is a very, uh, this is a very interesting kind of a game. And um, I, I mentioned this before, but there's a, there's a couple games on the Lynx that were uh, originally on... Amiga, and then they were ported over um, to the Lynx. Um, we've also have some weird games on the Atari Jaguar that were also on the Amiga as well. So it was like Amiga, Atari ST, and then they would just port these games over. This is one of those games. So I don't know what this game looks like as an Amiga game. I, I just know what it looks like as a, a Lynx game. And it's... um. You know, at first glance, I would I would call it rinky-dink. I think the word that I'm looking for is it's a rinky-dink game. Not only is it a rinky-dink game, but it is slow as hell. It has all of the makings of something cool, but oh my god, I'm going to take a nap trying to play this game and trying to figure it out. It's just, it, you know, it, it has the bad sword play and then floaty jumps. And then he has this jump where he like tumbles and he, he like falls on his head. I don't, like, like what's happening? And what are these bad guys? They, they hit me every single time. It doesn't make any sense. Can I eventually get armor? I don't know. Will the game continue to have me float all over the stage? Probably. Is it going to be slow? Yeah. Did you see how many, like, little map levels there were? This is, this is not for me. I wouldn't necessarily say he's running right. He's, he's sort of just, uh, he's just taking his time, you know, and floating all along. So throughout the uh, little town here, you could go into shops, you could uh, upgrade your armor. It shows, you know, that there's bombs, there's uh, lightning bolts and, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this is a game that I purchased uh, a while back and it, it never really caught my interest. It was just slow. It was slow. You think of all the great, think of all the great experiences that you've ever had on a Lynx. And then, do you want to waste your time playing something like this? Or do you want to just, you know, take this out and pop in something amazing? Pop in Checkered Flag. If you haven't played Checkered Flag, you need to play Checkered Flag. I mean, that's an amazing racing game, hands down. That's probably one of the best racing games um, I've played in a, in a very, very long time. And it holds up. I mean, it's, it's better than, uh, you think of the best racing games. Checkered flag on the links is dynamite. 
So why am I gonna waste my time playing Viking Child? Well, maybe I had an Amiga and maybe I really liked Viking Child and I wanted to take Viking Child on the go. Of course, it was gonna be a scaled down version of it. Maybe, I don't know, I never played it on the Amiga. But this game is just, um, like I said, it's just not for me. You know, we, we have the music up front, which is, you know, a little catchy, a little bouncy tune. But then when we get into the gameplay, it's another one of those silent games. And I just hear my footsteps and the, my little sword and myself getting hit. Come on, guys, you can do better than that. Are we starting to see a little trend here from these games that were on the Amiga that got ported over to Lynx? I think we are. They're not the best. However, you have a game like Shadow of the Beast, and this thing is an absolute beast. This game is amazing. Hands down, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. All right, folks, I, I don't know what else to tell you about this game. I mean, um, it's slow, there's no music, it's kind of boring. Uh, this is not one of my go-to Lynx games to play. Sorry. Let's just say that, that there's games that uh, do a much better job of entertaining you on the Atari Lynx. Uh, this is not one of them, unfortunately. It's got everything going for it. I mean, you see that title screen? Look at the artwork on the box? Oh man, you're like, this is, yeah! But, that's a no-go for me, dog. Hey, that's it for me on this episode of Lynx Lounge. I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned something about Viking Child. I hope you learned something about the Atari Lynx, and I hope you learn something about yourself, like who you are and what kind of a person you want to be in today's society. I know I did. Join us next time on Lynx Lounge, and if you want to check us out on the Jag Bar, you can do that, or 7800 Avenue. We're just making episodes left and right, having a good time, and I hope to see you very soon. Ciao. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, how do I get my hands on a pair of these? It's really easy. You need to do two things. Number one, you're going to subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, don't worry about it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Second, you are going to participate in a high score squad challenge at Atari.io. You can join in any and every high score squad challenge at Atari.io up until December 1st. Every squad challenge you enter is another chance to win. Now do me a favor, shout me out when you post your high score. Make sure you say BTB, enter me to win, and it's all good to go. On December 1st, 2020, we are going to do a drawing and we are going to see who is the lucky person that is going to win these beautiful bad boys right here. I wish you all the best of luck. And while you're participating in the High Score Squad, check out Atari I.O. They've got all of the cool things that we all love talking about. We love talking about video games. We love talking about retro stuff, vintage stuff. We love talking about TurboGrafx-16, Sega, Nintendo, all of the kits, all of the classics, and it's all there at Atari I.O. Good luck in the contest, and I will see you in the forums at Atari.io. See you later. Check out Atari.io for the very best in retro life and classic gaming. From Atari to Nintendo, Sega, TurboGrafx, and beyond. Atari.io